I just got here at a truck stop right now and this is actually the way I do most of the traveling and have done for the last couple weeks. Uh, when I'm on the road and I'm not staying anywhere, I'm not performing, uh, never really have money for a motel so I stay at a lot of truck stops, uh, state parks, sometimes in a city park, uh, really anywhere I can think of or see. Uh, sometimes just in a lot next to a church or any suburban area. So this is here at the truck stop. I'll probably stay here tonight. It's probably close to 9 or 10. The sun has just gone down totally. And uh, it's getting dark. It's a little chilly night. And there's a threat of a thunder shower, but I don't think it's going to come. And you never want to waste money when you're just not sure about it. So, you know, if nothing else, I can always run inside. And this here is a Transamerica, uh, which is one of the nicer truck stops. And so what's great about that is they usually have a lounge here at the Transamerica uh, for the truckers. And usually they don't mind if you sleep there, but especially if it's raining out or really cold, then they usually uh, never care or say anything. Got the bike, everything here, all my stuff just needs to be unpacked. And uh, I'll probably lay it out somewhere here on the grass, uh, maybe around that picnic table. Uh, there's a chance I might have to leave and sleep somewhere close to the cement. Uh, that sign up there, that huge one, you probably can't, you can barely see it from this angle, it has that rotating sign that says Pizza Hut right now, and it's about there because it flips to Subway. And when it does that, it uh, makes a little bit of a noise. It's really irritating hump, so I might not sleep there. Just sort of give you a little insight onto uh, the sleeping habits on a trip like this. And I'll wake up at sun, uh, sunrise and go to bed pretty soon here. Probably get about seven hours sleep, maybe six, just depends. I don't really know exactly how late it is. Probably around 10 and uh, sunrise usually around five. Uh, this time of year and kind of near the north so I I'm banking on that and then I have a long day uh, probably about 500 miles tomorrow See I'm parked right next to the trucker's chapel there There's my bike See, Most if not all the people here sleeping in their cars uh, Most of these cars here they'll have people sleeping in them That's just kind of the way it goes the truck stops and then the big rigs would be back here They got their own lot uh, so they don't run over anybody and they're all sleeping back there in their own spot But all these places here this guy here is uh, Call that an escort for the oversized load He'll usually sleep somewhere in his little truck a lot of u-haul guys And then there are always some pickup trucks, you know sedans. It's different types of travelers whatever it is for whatever reason uh, Will sleep here because they don't want to pay the money for a motel that's pretty common and that always makes me feel pretty good so the next to them I mean we're all sort of out here together I just don't have a, a car so I'm sleeping on the sidewalk or in the grass somewhere so no big deal also in those truck cha truckers chapels the chaplain will be sleeping in there and he's available all night you can go and knock on the door and wake him up I've never done it but there's always a sign that says that. The challenge right now is just to go to sleep. Uh, as you can see, it's very bright out here. Uh, this is camping in an urban environment. Uh, side, side, you know, um, ground on the truck stop. And so it's very bright out here. Uh, they got the parking lot lights on. And that's good, it's good for safety, if, if for nothing else. Uh, but there are people in the parking lot that make some noise or whatever and it really is just like camping uh, where you might camp in a jungle uh, and there are animals going by or making noise or scurrying and they're not necessarily harmful they're not necessarily going to hurt you but uh, you got to be mindful of them you got to watch out and you can't be afraid you just have to know what to fear kind of see it. It's a chilly night here, even in the summertime, even here in July. But yeah, keep all valuables in the sleeping bag. Uh, that way, if, if someone wants to take them, they'll at least have to wake me up 
And uh, honestly, I'll just let them have them. But no point in putting up a fight uh, unless it's just someone weaker than me. Uh, the thing to remember here not to be afraid and that uh, I'm, I'm a dangerous man, too, is the other thing. Uh, it might seem weird for some people, even people here at the truck stop who are sleeping in their cars, to see a guy sleeping in a sleeping bag uh, on the ground. But uh, you've got to remember that they'll probably be thinking uh, that guy's got a reason to do it. That guy's a dangerous man. So you have to keep that in mind. They're, they're, they're probably more afraid of me than I am of them. And that's fine. That's my biggest advantage because I don't have any weapons. I have a knife, but I would never use it. Uh, and that's about it. So the challenge right now is just to get some shut eyes, some restful sleep, and not to be too bothered by anything. And that is hard. You, you just got to do what you have to do. As you see, I have it set up here. Uh, i give you a little view of this. We've got the bike over there. That's the end of the parking spot. And that's a little bit of protection. Uh, that way no one pulls into the spot and kills me. Uh, you know, they're driving, it's late at night, they can't really see. That way they'll at least hit the bike and it's not close enough that it'll hit me. Uh, and I'll hear it and be able to move or they'll stop or probably they'll just see the chrome and not even pull in. But that's, that's the way truck stop sleeping goes. This weird uh, urban camping we have going on here. You'll never see this anywhere else in the world. Another day on the road and uh, I've been doing this now, uh, living on the road now for over a year and have what? I think today is the 15th. I have 16 more days, 15 more nights of life on the road. So after this, who knows where this will lead. Night.